So we are back with another video and today I want to focus on how intimacy is used as a distraction in relationships. Now sit back and let's get into it. We're going to get straight into it today. So I want to focus on the dynamics between some of these couples that we have seen during this season of Love is Blind. And so one of those couples, we're going to focus on this triangulation of Xander, Yoli, and Vanessa. So I want you guys, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, you like this video. We're going to focus on how I feel like Vanessa used intimacy to distract and also how Yoli used, I think, more covert um, manipulation and also to distract. Now, was Xander a willing participant? Of course, yes. But at the same time, I think some people are in relationships where they don't, they don't realize that their partner is using and manipulating through physical intimacy. We saw how Vanessa would try and say that Xander was asexual they were not into um, physical intimacy as much, according to Vanessa. Now, Vanessa lives in her own bubble, so I think she likes to believe the things that she says, but we as an audience were like, sis, sis, no, 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 no. Because we all saw those late night scenes <laughs> where Xander was proving that Xander is not asexual, y'all. But let's get into it, okay? So, do y'all remember that scene where Vanessa, I don't know, she asked to sit on Xander's lap or she just did it? And to me, that was a clear indication like, oh, this is a thing. This is a thing that Vanessa does is use intimacy to distract Xander and kind of keep Xander under her manipulation by using physical contact, intimacy, um, invading space and I wonder if she does this with other people invading people's space um to distract them and use that to oh you, you want to talk about something how about we you know we be intimate it said how about I use my body to distract you from whatever it is you're feeling you're thinking about because I don't really want to engage in that and that to me is an example of someone who does not have the best emotional intelligence also social cues of knowing hey, this is not the time for that. I'm really trying to talk about something deep, but sometimes people are so uncomfortable with talking about those deeper issues or deep, those deeper things that they can't hold space. And so says, I don't have the capacity to hold space, or maybe I just was not taught how to have some of these conversations. I'm gonna do other things to distract some of this manipulation, but I think some of it could also be just not having that um, that was not mirrored to you as a child of how to have some of these conversations, how to show up emotionally. And that comes from maybe having parents, um, caregivers who do not mirror to you how to have some of these conversations, how to show, um, emotional capacity. Can you relate? Were you someone who had a parent who did not show so much of that emotional capacity? Um, that now as an adult, you struggle to be emotionally capable of having and navigating difficult conversations and relationships with partners, friendships. Do you find yourself struggling? Let me know in the comments because I don't necessarily blame Vanessa for this. Um, I think it's something that people can grow out of, um, through self-work, through self-reflection, through therapy, but sometimes our parents do not provide us with that foundation of knowing how to be emotionally connected because they were not emotionally connected to us. So Vanessa is a prime example of someone who uses physical connection to connect. And that can be just some of the, I don't know what else to do. That can be, this has worked in the past. It can be so many things, but you want to recognize and do some self-reflection. Am I in a relationship with someone who has used intim intimate um, moments to distract me from the problems of our relationship? Is intimacy a band-aid in our relationship? Do we ever really go back to those difficult conversations once the intimacy is over? Or do you forget about it? 
let me know in the comments. And so since you get stuck on the emotional lack thereof, you get stuck on the lust of the relationship that that becomes the um, the forward moving parts of your relationship, that aspect of the physical connection. So you have to make sure, can we connect emotionally? Can we connect through that emotional intelligence? During those difficult parts of my life, those chapters, are you able to show up for me emotionally? And most people don't think about that because they get caught up in the lust of relationships. I think that is what happened with Yoli and Xander uh, is that they got caught up in the physical connections of their relationship that the foundation that was not solid and there was nothing there more. And so when I see couples, I see a lot of couples who don't connect emotionally, don't have that emotional intelligence. They are on different paths emotionally, but they all realize that because they don't talk about the disconnect. They focus more on surface level things or they focus more on intimacy. The physical intimacy is missing. But why? Why is that physical intimacy missing? Why is the um, emotional intelligence missing? People don't talk about these things and they wonder why their relationships don't work because your relationship cannot be solely based on physical connection. You have to have more than that. So let me know if you saw the connection between these relationships being more physical. Um, can you relate to any of this? Do you feel like you've been in relationships where you were intimate first and maybe later the emotional connection um, came? Prove me wrong. Let me know in the comments because maybe maybe some things can work that traditionally don't work. But looking at these couples, there's a lot of lust, physical connection. There wasn't the emotional capacity to be able to, to go the long-term, long-term relationship. And you saw none of these people are really together. Is anyone from this show still? Oh, I guess Ozzy and Sam are still together. But even there, I feel like there was missing parts of um, emotional intelligence, emotional capacity. And you see how Ozzy does not have the ability to hold space even for Ozzy's self, they don't know how to hold space, let alone for a partner and how there was such a lack of emotional intelligence in a lot of these couples. A lot of stuff you see on TV, that is the missing part. The shows edit and focus so much on the physical connection, but don't think about in order to be successful long-term, you need that emotional connection. Emotional intimacy is what is lacking in a lot of relationships. So make sure you like, you comment. Do you wanna hear more about emotional intelligence and relationships? Do you feel like these shows focus more on lust, physical attractiveness, more than the, the mental? I'll see y'all next time. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys. And don't forget to hit that notification for my next video.